Of course, no, no. No, nothing's wrong with that. No, if he likes nothing, to suck some cock, let him suck some cock. <laughs> How weird would it have been if that was an episode? If he wants to suck cock, let him suck cock. Dude, I'm just like thinking about Jerry Seinfeld again, dating that, was it, high schooler? 17-year-old. And, and I'm just like, what if, what if like so, he just started dating me when I was fresh, when I was still in high school at seventeen? Like you would have like, loved it, and you know it. <laughs> I would have laughed. What you would have said, no, Ryan? We would have had so many laughs. Yeah, you would have had a ton of laughs together. You guys would have just been fucking two peas in a pod. Your skin is so smooth and young. That's incredible. God, it's almost like while I was on television, you were in the in the womb. What's up oh, with dude. that? I, I always I always forget that about Jerry Seinfeld. The fact that he dated a 17 and brought her to the fucking red carpet. It's one of my favorite uh, moments of a Let's Play we did was uh, in Resident Evil 2 when we're doing the Jerry Seinfeld thing where it's like your daughter brings home her boyfriend. It's Jerry fucking Seinfeld. I'm just making sure, yep, while still a 17-year-old high school student, she met then 38-year-old Jerry Seinfeld in a public 30. park. In a public park. Did he cat call her at a <laughs> public park? Was he like, hey, mama, get that, up here, girl. How they talk about, like, like when I think of a park, I think of, like, a pedophile in a trench coat, like, looking for kids. So the fact they met in a... <laughs> See, I, I, picture, I picture Jerry Seinfeld hey. at 38. He has, like, a nice hat on. His back is, hun like, craned a little because of his age. He has glasses on. He has, like, a bag of breadcrumbs that he's throwing to the <laughs> pigeons. She's on the fucking monkey bars. Oh my god, are you Jerry? My parents used to love you. Well, now they're gonna love me even more. <laughs> I'm dating their daughter. And that's how I started dating. He just announced it and then... It's okay, I'm looking at Jerry Seinfeld's Facebook page. No, fit. fucking Wikipedia. I don't Episode know why I it. Episode 264. Woo! 264, no. baby. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, that's, that's a lot of episodes. It is a lot of Jerome episodes. Jerome Allen Seinfeld. That's his name. His name is Jerome? Jerome. <laughs> Jerome My Hollywood Seinfeld. name's... Hey, Jerome. Oh, please, call me Jerry. <laughs> Jerome? Okay, let's see. Uh, he almost let me ooh. have a sip of his brew. Yeah, dude, that's crazy that he did. He didn't, though. No. Hey. Wait, I think this. we should... Uh, I think we should talk about the elephant in the room. Oh, yeah. Your mom's visiting. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> She is visiting this week. Uh, her right. and my cousin Jamie, they're visiting. But not not yet. They're not here yet. In fact, no one's in my house. You know why? Because. Do you want me to say it or you get a... You get a Drum roll. Yep. You're adding Your boy it. Matthew has COVID-19. <laughs> We're proud of you, buddy. We're so proud. We never Dude. thought you'd make it. You're in the spotlight, you so baby. I never, I never thought I would be so lucky to get COVID nineteen. This is why Thank you moved you guys to LA. So much. This is why you moved here, buddy. Yeah, it is to, to to catch a disease during the pandemic. I. Uh, How's it been though? So, what is your experience with COVID? First thing. It's pretty epic. Uh, my experience with COVID is basically uh, because I'm vaccinated. Uh, I don't really have any symptoms, so it's pretty pretty mild, pretty mild symptoms. Um, well, I, you, you, know, well, you some... sent me a video. You said you were coughing up blood or something. Well, I, I coughed up a couple gallons of blood earlier, but I don't think that but was But your body produces so much, you know? Yeah. A little blood loss doesn't hurt anybody. A little blood loss never hurt anybody, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, but but it's been fine. You know, I, I'm kind of congested. I have a bit of a, of a, <coughs> of a cough. And uh, that's about it, though. Just fatigue. And uh, so I might sound a little... I'm trying to look me scuffy. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I can say it on here because no one can cut me down uh, that I was given COVID by Jackson Tucker. You're living your truth. Yeah, I'm living my truth right well, now. Well, he and would he, question, actually, actually, should I call him right now to debate this? He's not going to admit it. He wait, probably wait, won't even answer his phone. Don't let him know that I am on the other end of the line. I just want to hear no y'all's conversation. I, no, that's 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 evil. I, I there's no way it wasn't him though because basically 
he had it and his girlfriend got it. And I got it after spending the weekend with them. And the, the week leading up to that, they went to San Diego and they were going out to bars and stuff. And what? they got all their symptoms and everything days before I did. So it's like two and two together. I wasn't going out or anything. So it's like, I don't know how, because he suggested that I gave it to him. I was like, Jackson. Hello. Ja- Jackson. Hey, Jackson. Jackson. Hey. Hey, Ryan. Um, oh, wait. Let me, let me, um, how do I get Matt's voice so you can hear him? On, hey, buddy. We're recording the podcast. If, you, if I yell loud enough through the headphones, he can hear me. I don't, hey, buddy. I, I, wait, output device. Let's hey, bro. see. Hey, bro. Speakers. Are you on Jackson. Speakers? Oh, wait. I can hear him. I can hear you him. can hear him? Yeah. Hey, buddy. You might be, you might, you, it's going to be a weird thing for the podcast. Might be a My slight good echo. friend. But uh, we we were here trying to track down where this COVID came from. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a mystery, <laughs> man. See, we think that you're ground zero. You're the first case to ever happen. Oh, I mean, that's... Started the pandemic. Trip. <laughs> about a year and a half ago. Yeah, the trip a year and a half ago is when you got <laughs> yeah. it. And it lies dormant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually got it a few years ago when I had a layover in Beijing, and it's just been kind of chilling. Also, wait, wait, wait! Can you ask Jackson a question real quick? Ask him yourself. Jackson, are the glasses you have Sixto from I Buy Direct square, mellow yellow eyeglasses? Wait, what? Never mind. He said, "Are are, are your eyeglasses Sixto Melon something?" Sixto. Wait, what? Six the though. The, the name of the style, I guess. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't know. Damn it! To think about that stuff. Well, uh, how are you feeling, Jackson? Well, my sense of smell is coming back a bit by bit. Not taste. Um, no, I, I never really lost my taste. Only smell. Damn. So you have. My taste was dulled a bit, but um. My so you really lost your sense of taste and smell. What? So you lost your sense of taste and smell? Mostly smell, not taste. Yeah. My Damn. taste was like dulled by not being able to smell, but um, I, the smelling was wild, though, because like, it was nothing to do with congestion. Like I could smell things perfectly, or like you know, inhale through my nose perfectly, but I couldn't smell a thing. And like, I was getting yeah, like, these w- phantom scents of like, the weirdest things, like mustard or dirt or blood or like... Pigs. Yes! So weird. Yes, I I had similar experiences to you, Jackson, because like I didn't lose my sense of taste or smell, but what happened was, um, <coughs> excuse me, what happened was, uh, I kept smelling like deep in my nose, like it didn't even exist, like it wasn't yeah. a real smell, but I could smell it. Where I'd randomly get this like for like a split second, like there's this weird smell in my nose yeah, that almost like smelled like scent. sewage. It's so weird. It was nasty. And then also I would randomly, like my mouth would get really sour and things would taste. I had pizza the other night and it was really sour. Oh, I didn't get that. But it was Cause it was like, cause like my, my taste just, shower, like, things tasted different. Doc- I'd be in the shower with like the Dr. Bronner's to my nose and like seeing if I could smell anything. And there was just nothing. Really? It was that bad? Yeah. Well, it, it was subtle because, like, at first, it, like, you know, it was partial bit by bit. So at first I thought it was just like, oh, this food I'm eating right now just isn't very seasoned or something like that. And then it was just like, oh, no, right. I can't smell shit. What, yeah, what happened like, to... Like, right to my nose and nothing. Damn. Yeah, so right when I woke up every morning, I could not taste or smell at all. And I figured that out because in classic Matt Watson fashion, I woke up at... Uh, like 4 a.m. to eat a Kit Kat bar that I had stored next to my bed <laughs> of just course. for that occasion. Of course. <laughs> I really, no, I really <laughs> set it next to my bed just for that because I was like, I know I'm going to wake up and fucking love this. Do you, do you not this. eat Oreos anymore, buddy? Nah, dude, that was that was like a one-time thing. You, you've you moved like, on. Do you have like onesie pajamas on? Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a changed <laughs> man, Ryan. Uh, but I was eating it and I could not taste it at all. I could just like feel the texture and then I tried to smell it, couldn't smell it. Um, and that would happen every morning until like, like five minutes after I woke up. Uh, so I, I don't know. Interesting. But, um, you know, uh, Jackson, you, you know how, it, you know how it'd be. Hey, but, Jackson. But now I... <laughs> Jackson. Did you just, was that a, were you, were you, were you, were you relieving yourself? 
<laughs> just a little piddle. He was just a, he was just releasing a little piddle, Matt. I don't know if oh was he going pee pee? Yeah, I didn't hear that. You no, can, it picked up. On I, the, I can't hear him that audition. well. Okay, because I can't hear him that well because he's coming through the phone on speakerphone and then through Discord into my ears, <laughs> so I can't really hear him that well. It has to be done normally. Uh, but was he? He's he's making a little pee pee. He, he made a little piddle, but with that, Aww. but I, I think with that we should uh, wish you a, a happy recovery as well, Jack. Speedy recovery, Thank you buddy. So much, Ryan. Of course, of course. Always I know you've been waiting voice. for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love you. What do you say? Matt says I love you. Uh, I love you, Jackson. Tell him he's a good boss. <laughs> okay, I will. I will. Yeah, we'll go. What do you say? See ya. See ya. I, c- I couldn't hear. He keeps breaking up. He said, "Tell him, tell him you're a good boss." Oh, thank you. That's so sweet, Jackson. So thank you, Jackson. He's he's Jackson is left of the building. Good, Jackson has left the chat. Farewell. I uh, I he is ground zero though for sure. Did he deny it? I couldn't hear. Um, I uh, I don't think he. I think he agreed that he was the first oh, ever good. one to get it. Do it. Remember, he said he got it because back, uh, Ca- his Carson trip. even Carson even jumped in and was like, uh, in the group text, he's like, uh, dude, you can be asymptomatic, like implying that I was just asymptomatic and gave it to, to Jackson. Well, I didn't get Bella. it. So yeah, okay. So here's the funny thing. I had COVID. superior genes, Matthew Watson. Superior genes. <laughs> well, I wear Levi's. Um, I came into work last Tuesday, and I had COVID at the time without knowing because I had no symptoms. And we were reco- we recorded that we recorded a podcast that day, the right. last podcast that came mm-hmm. out, two sixty three. And on that episode, uh, I I am I'm, I'm smoking upon my penis my, colored vape. My penis colored vape, and we're making comments on it. And you say, Ooh, what flavor is that? Let me try. I toss it to you, and you can actually hear the moment Ryan sucks upon my vape. And that was the moment that I transferred COVID germs into Ryan's mouth, but yep. his genes defeated it. So if he was weaker, that would have been the moment that he got COVID. And we went out to dinner that night with Ian from Smosh. That is true. And he took a sip out of my beverage and was like, you're not sick, are you? And I was like, ha, 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 yeah, I am, without realizing <laughs> I actually was. So uh, I was just thinking to myself, like, you know, Ian was like my childhood hero, right? Yeah. He was like my, my, like my icon. So if I ended up like, if he got it from me and then died and, and I killed my childhood hero. That would be incredible because you would be associated with him forever then. I know. I'd be on his Wikipedia page, dude. Like I'd be like, wow, look at that! I killed I killed Ian from Smosh. It's like, uh, I guess I guess he lost this year's food battle. Oh, and uh, okay, so I got tested. I don't know why I got tested the day after, but I got tested what, on the for being a dumbass. <laughs> I got I got the 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 COVID test to see if I got it. So I got it on the twenty second. Took another one on the twenty sixth, and I took hmm. another one earlier today. All have come out negative, and so it's been. Oh, it's the been, new you got your new one? Yeah. It's all negative. Um, so you're and, good. Yeah, so I'm good. They, I even asked them. I'm like, so <laughs> if my last one was negative, and this one is negative, which was which now it's seven days after. Yeah, it's been a week. So, so I it, think would, it would show up. Fuck yeah, dude. So I I'm actually surprised. I'm shocked you didn't get it. You me around too. Me all I was day. expecting it. I was I was just. It was mainly the vape thing. I really yeah. thought that taking you a hit out of your penis colored vape would have done me in. My spit was on that, and you literally, you know, well, you know what a possibility is. Well, you blew is? into it, which means you could have shed the virus. You you might have not have been shedding the virus then. Well, yeah, what I'm thinking is this. That was on Tuesday, and when you I saw Jackson. You Wednesday, didn't you? Yeah, I tested positive Wednesday, but when I saw Jackson for the first time, it was Friday, that Friday before. So I could have gotten it that Friday, and then by Tuesday, not be contagious anymore. You know, true, but your symptoms came after Tuesday as well. Right. And my first symptoms started like Wednesday morning, like 4 a.m. I woke up with a really bad headache. And then that was. Uh... So you took the vaccine and you <laughs> still got COVID. Yep. I like. <laughs> How did that work? Mm-hmm. Oh, now, yeah. But very, then... very good vaccine. But now what's their argument for me? You know. Oh, well, you see, so you proved that. The vaccine works. I proved that. And I, I proved I, it I'm, doesn't. 
See, I'm the effective. I'm one of the effective cases. Well, you proved that it mm-hmm. works because your symptoms weren't fucking awful, even though a lot of the yeah. Well, that's the thing is, it's like younger people. The, like a vaccine doesn't like mean you're not like you're fully immune, especially with Delta, uh, because when they made the vaccine, Delta wasn't a thing yet, and Delta is very and Delta exists because people won't get vaccinated, and as long as people don't get vaccinated, there's going to be more and more variants, which are going to be deadlier and more contagious and easy to get around vaccines. Yep. So thank you. Everybody who's not getting vaccinated, you're really pulling one for the team. It's uh, really just but- to protect yourself from uh, major symptoms. It's important. For, it's it's. I would say it's it's definitely important for everyone too. But it's more it's more important for the like older people, the people with pre existing conditions, just people who would be affected by yeah, do, um the do it to help other people. Yeah, it's like you know it's it's uh and also like people are like I don't know what they put in the vaccine. It's like I saw a tweet that was like you don't know what they put in Tylenol. You don't know what they put in a Big Mac but you still like take it. You still yeah. eat it. Like you don't know what anyone puts in pretty much anything unless you're growing your own lettuce and like primarily eating that and pulling your water from a well. Well, it's also uh, not surprising that you two like, um, like got it because you were around each other, each other for three solid days. It wasn't just mm-hmm. like a, a meeting of a few hours or a couple hours. It was like three right. solid days of being in the same environment. So like, I think because it was we went to, uh, at that point. we went, to an Airbnb in Joshua Tree. I'd never been to Joshua Tree. And I got a new telescope, so I went out there uh, with Jackson and Bella uh, and our friend to go uh, just, like, you know, have a nice little getaway because I hadn't I hadn't hung out with Jackson in a very long time. Like, we just hadn't really just seen each other at work, and that was it. Yeah. So uh, it was it was nice, uh, but I got COVID. Um, I saw people speculating, uh, no, my mom was not around, like, work or anything like that. So she didn't come in contact with. You sure about that, Ryan? Well, uh, sure. I mean, I mean, she, there was this time I couldn't find her in the house for about two hours, but then she just appeared back in the guest room. That that wasn't me because you know I'm I'm usually three minutes and I'm done. Yeah. So that that was not that time wasn't for usually me. pump and dumper. Maybe it was Lego. I don't know. <laughs> God. Oh. Uh. I am currently, as we speak, because I'm I'm in my studio right now, and you are in your studio. My studio, uh, miles apart. See, I the, uh, I call this something different. I, this is my den, Matthew. This ooh, is my cave, the den. Your lion's den. Yeah. So you're, uh, I, I don't. I just don't. Den. There's not like a yours has a studio vibe. Mine. Well, you mine, haven't seen it yet since I changed it. Well, like what you were going for, even from the start, like with the you you did you do soundproofing oh. yet? For the, no, not yet, okay. because I, honestly, I don't think I'm going to. I'd rather decorate the walls. And the sound, like the the layout of this room, the soundproofing would just, just like get rid of uh, like the, the cool vibe and I wouldn't be able to decorate it. Also, because there's a street outside my window and all my neighbors have kids, like there's no way to soundproof like the windows. So the kids yelling will still come in through the windows. So I'd rather just, uh, you know, keep it how it is. And also like, when I'm recording like vocals for a song, it's it, you know like you can't hear the background noise really. I also have a uh, Isovox, which is like a tiny little recording booth uh, that you stick your head inside. Yeah, so, I saw that. What was that? Was that Mister Clanton that introduced that to you, or who was? Yes, that? Miss, I, I I went to his house once and he had one of those. I was like, "What the hell is that?" And he's like, "This is this is an Isovox, Matthew." You, you can shit add- all over the toilet seat, Matthew. Yeah, dude, he called me out. I was at his house. And you pooped a little uh, on the toilet seat and didn't wipe it up. Well, a little bit got on the floor and a little bit was on the toilet seat, but it happens, you know, it's kind of... <laughs> it happens. No, but uh, that actually did happen, just not with poop. Uh, <laughs> I, I I peed and I, and I with guess... Cum. Uh, <laughs> I came in his bathroom, basically, and it was, there was some on the bath mat, like a big glob of just cum. And he the yelled new Doja at me. Cat no. video came out, and you just had to take a break real quick. Oh my god! Hold on, dude. guys. I had to fucking. I had to. But basically, I I I dribbled a little bit by accident. Not my not my finest moment, but like a drop or two had had gone when I when I was shaking it. You know. Yeah. You know, shake it once. That's fine. Shake, shake it, it twice. Shake, that's shake, okay. Shake it, th- shake it three times. You're playing with your yourself. Anyway, I was shaking it, and I guess I missed that a that a drop or two had had, had dribbled down from the bell end of my cock uh, onto George Clanton's tile flooring right below the toilet. 
And I go into the other room and I sit down uh, with his wife and I'm just chilling. You know, I'm talking. We're having a cocktail. I'm, you know, I'm enjoying Lindsay's company. And I hear from the bathroom ar- arising such a clatter. You pissed everywhere. Did you <laughs> piss on the fucking floor, Matthew? <laughs> like an angry father. And I was like, what? And he's like, you're disgusting. You pissed in my house and didn't clean it up. Come clean this. And, he, and I was like, what? And he made me go in there and clean it up. <laughs> Good. Uh, he's not going to wipe up your piss. He should have cleaned up my piss. I was the guest. <laughs> No, I, I, I felt it was very embarrassing. Like, <laughs> like I was just embarrassed, you know, basically, like, obviously, like, I'm the one in I'm the one in the wrong here because <laughs> you pissed. Well, I floor. wasn't even in the wrong, I guess. It was just it was an embarrassing accident. Yeah, that, you unintentionally that, that dribbled piss onto his floor and his toilet un- seat. <laughs> Unintentionally pissed. Wait, on was my it on the friends. toilet seat or just the floor? No, it was on the floor, oh, not on the toilet seat. <laughs> okay. Dude, like he must have been looking for that though. He must have like. Dude, that's the thing. Like, like, <laughs> did he go in after me to be like, let's see if there's any piss I can find? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, I, I, I just don't. You know, George, I. He's probably gonna hear this because he listens to our podcast. No sometimes. way. He does listen to our podcast because every time I see him, he brings some shit up. That's like and he's you like, telling you me talked that, about me again. That's like you telling uh, me that that Ethan from Crank Gameplays listens to our podcast. He doesn't. But if he does, I'm sure he would text both of us right now to confirm that he's a good friend by listening to our content. Yeah. I, I, Kelly, I think, used to. I don't know if she still does. I doubt it. Nah, I feel like after not. a while of knowing us, you'd have to just be like, mm, yeah, I, I, I'll take him in doses. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it goes, man. Uh, but yeah, George is going to probably hear this. I, I'm i sorry for pissing on the floor. You got to stop talking about me on your damn podcast. You're <laughs> embarrassing me and sending all these little children after me. See, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see how this would be embarrassing for him, you know. It's, more, it's, it's embarrassing it's, for me. Exactly. Because I, I, of such a I, tragic error. I went and done pissed on the fucking floor. At, 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 I was a guest in his house. And I pissed on the floor, and I'm I'm embarrassed, George. So I'm sorry if you hear this. I'm this isn't sorry. an Applebee's, Matt. You just can't go pissing on the floor. I wish, dude. Well, his house is, you know, I will say his house <laughs> is probably on the same level as an Applebee's what if, bathroom. What if in like Texas Roadhouse? What the hell? Or I think it was Texas Roadhouse back How in the with day. The peanuts on the floor? Yeah. Instead of that, they just allowed you to like pee under the table. <laughs> There's like a bucket that holds piss under the table. <laughs> You just like whip your cock out through your zipper <laughs> under the table and just piss while you're having a steak. That's fucking awesome, dude. It's just little like buckets of piss. And yeah. hey, I need the pan Roadhouse. empty. This uh, my pan's full. It's overflowing. <laughs> Poor waitress comes around and fucking like has to like like sloshing piss. You know when they spill it, like so they drop the dishes. They just <laughs> drop piss and it floods the entire floor. Oh, whoops. <laughs> But everyone treats it as casually as like if a kid spilled his drink. <laughs> oh, I spilled my piss. Whoops. Uh, uh, le- here, let me help you get that up. Dude, starts fucking, like uh, cupping it with their palms and throwing it into the <laughs> sink. <laughs> oh man, I love the idea of just like a restaurant where you can piss on the floor <laughs> and and like that's the catch. It's like, yeah, we got great steak, but you could piss on the floor. <laughs> Imagine the smell of that place. The combination of like cooked meats and piss. <laughs> And wine, like, like medium rare steak, <laughs> wine and piss. And there's peanuts on the floor too. You can uh, <laughs> and there, yeah. They I mean, if there's the piss peanuts. on the floor, there might as well be peanuts there too. You no, know, let them piss on the floor, man. Everyone's everyone's allowed to have a little piss on the floor. I'm actually, as we speak, I'm I'm purchasing eyeglasses. Because, no, you're not. Damn it! I just had to cancel my order. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm getting my old, cause I, I've been yes, missing my glasses for a while. Missing your glasses? <laughs> I've been missing them for a while. You know, my classic ones. I've I miss your glasses the, too. They were cute. I've been wearing the bigger, like hipster square lenses, you know, but remember my, my older ones that were a little more rounded that were brown. That yeah. Were your like Harry Potter thing. glasses. Like, no, they weren't. Not those. I did order some of those though. Um, I want to see you in like perfectly like just round circle. Should, should glasses. I, I'll get a pair. I'll get a pair of round glasses. Can, can we on, both? Because I, I like uh like the glasses that Doc Ock wears in the Spider Man Two. You know what I'm talking about? I'm looking at the uh, yes. I'm looking at the uh, round glasses 2. right now. 
Doc Ock. Can I buy these glasses? Yeah, dude. They're just like circular glasses. Want Doc Ock Spider Man Two glasses? Superhero hype. Okay. Um, I'm on I Buy Direct, which is where I get all my glasses because uh, they're cheap and they have like five thousand designs in different colors. Uh, and that's where I've always got my glasses from, except for when I got them at Lens Crafters the first time, and they signed me up for some fucking credit account without my knowledge. Uh, well, I, like I probably said yes, but I was like 19, so I didn't fucking know what I was doing, and then it ruined my credit score, put me in debt. A debt, a l- little debt collector came after me. Uh, I'm Give trying to find shit, perfectly. <laughs> Look at those things, like the oval ones. Do you see these, dude? And the and like the fucking uh the bridge. Here, Ryan, will you go here? Will you go here on i uh i buy direct? They're having a sale right now, actually, fifty percent off. Will you go to this website and will you will you find me a couple pairs of glasses that you think would look real good on me? Okay. I I, I would love to I would love to wear some glasses. Pick. How do I know which ones to? Can you get them just, in any prescription? Uh, I'll tell you my prescription. Just just find me some frames and I'll add them on on my uh. I my side. I'm trying <laughs> okay. to find perfectly circular ones. They don't make that many. I'm trying to find small, just perfect circles. Oh, oh. dude, these are fucking. I found the Goya. <laughs> look at these. We <laughs> sent you Nagoya. They're just like they they look like like prop <laughs> Harry Potter glasses. <laughs> they do. They look right. like they look like the shit you get at Party City. Yeah, they look like like <laughs> fake plastic grout. Okay, I got I got a pair of those. I threw one of those on my order, because uh, they're cheap glasses. Like, and, and that's why I always get a couple pairs of my classic ones. People have asked; they're called Saunter. That's, now that's you're gonna have the, the Ryan pair because I gotta suggest you some. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Check, you check you the, have to wear out. them out one day to dinner. Okay. I whatever you pick me, I promise we can go out to dinner and take some pictures together. <laughs> really. Yeah, of course, man. Okay. I'm excited now. Remember, here, I'll send you a screenshot. <laughs> remember uh, remember these glasses? I used to wear them all the time. They were like my go-to glasses. I'm getting those again because it's been a bit. Oh, I, li- I like the bigger frames. Do you like the ones that are bigger? No, I mean, I, I li- any glass you choose, you, you look fine, my brother. But Thank I, you, man. I, I do. There's something about like the bigger frames where there's like I have a lot of, lot of nostalgia for, for that look. Dude, thank you. Okay, maybe I'll wear those too. Okay, I did find some other regular round ones that are less goofy. I wonder, I w- I'll try round glasses. I just think they'll look goofy on me. Some people I'm can pull get them you off. wooden glasses. <laughs> <laughs> are they called roaring? No, no. Is that I, what I'm, you're looking at? I'm, because look at look at this shit. This shit, literally, they're w- like wooden circular <laughs> Groucho <laughs> Marx glasses. It's my Karl Marx glasses. Where, like, how can I find just Atlas. <laughs> I just Did you find some good ones. <laughs> and okay. the name of them too. I'm just trying to picture you in these. <laughs> There's a try on function where you could upload a picture of yourself. Kyoto. Let me see what these look like. <laughs> Dude, it's like Randy Rainbow. <laughs> and we're gonna go see him live in November. Are we? You're getting you're getting front row seats for both of us, dude. <laughs> no, I'm not. The most expensive we Randy never did Rainbow an, We never did an odds are for that. Kamala, Kamala, Joe Biden. I want to meet Joe Mr. Biden. Biden. Bring my vaccine. He's the president. <laughs> God damn, dude. I love neoliberal musical songs. Uh, Brent Lilly, trying... <laughs> Randy Whoa, Rainbow what, featuring Brent Lilly. Dude, did you see he made a song about Brent Lilly? What the fuck? <laughs> Brent, check this out. Brent Lilly. No, Matt, I changed my mind. I want you to get me. these. You have to get these. Hold what up. What the fuck? Look at these Oakleys, dude. <laughs> oh, I have to. Okay, this this is the pair I want you to get. This is. People are even going to see, see these glasses. Dude, I fucking They're... hate this. This is awful. <laughs> you have to. Those are the yeah, ones you know I choose. Is? This is like the. <sighs> Can I, can Put I it, show it, in the, show it in the podcast. You can get the darker right. brown if you want. It's, it's these. <laughs> I don't know if it helps, my man. No, it doesn't. They these are literally the fucking you know that classic picture of the woman and it says triggered, like the the really famous like 2015 2016 meme image that says triggered. 
and it's like the woman like that's that's these glasses about jenna it's not even possible for you to need a pair of glasses more than you need these this horn shape is going <laughs> to true, make man. every outfit you wear your best one yet and the dark Dude, they got brown... that right <laughs> they got uh, that fucking right what's acetate what is that i don't know how to fucking the brown a-c-e-t-a-t acetate acetate i don't know yeah it's a type it's a material oh you acetate know what's really weird perfect detail to add just enough intrigue and to make them even better we designed jenna with spring hinges for a comfy fit matt they might be very comfy <sighs> you know what's weird ryan is that's no. the second time in the last three hours just today that i've heard uh someone talk about uh acetate the material can so. you do the try me on function? Dude, these <laughs> are fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll put that picture into the try me on <laughs> picture. Let's see. Uh, but you got to actually get these, and we need to take a nice picture out at dinner to prove that you actually these look did awful. it. Awful. <laughs> oh, not available in this color. Oh, I can't do the. They're not available to try me on. But here, I can just Photoshop a picture real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me. Uh, let me just get a picture. We're just of looking at a bunch of glasses, glasses for 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 my buddy Matt. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm going to look good in these Jenna glasses, dude. <laughs> they look fucking fantastic. I look like one of those guys that's like, <laughs> like I look like one of those like male feminists on Twitter that uh, just has the absolute worst tweets. Okay, let me uh, take a picture of myself real quick so I can put it on my computer and then put these glasses on. <laughs> Do you know the okay. size of them, though? Like, what if they're really tiny? They're medium. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I just, I took a picture of myself. I'm growing my mustache, by the way, dude. Oh, dude. I can't wait uh -huh. to see it. Uh, In four not... years. Dude! Okay, let's see. I just pranked you, bro. Yeah, you did, and it wasn't very funny, man. That kind of hurt my feelings, just to be honest. Sorry. I'm telling I'll, you. I'll, 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 here, let me soothe you during the ad reads. Okay, thanks, man. Rub my back while I, and when we're back from the sponsor break, uh, we're going to, all you people that are watching on YouTube can go see what I look like with this fantastic pair of spectacles. Yep. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Ryan who just wanted to save a little extra cash on his pizza order. He was determined to find a promo code. He went on Google and did some detective work, searching for a code in every nook and cranny of the internet. Ryan didn't want to overpay for his pizza, but his kids were hungry, his wife and her boyfriend were tired, and it had been a long week. Was there a working promo code out there somewhere? Probably. Did he give up and pay full price? You bet your fucking ass he did. He knew there had to be a better way, so he teamed up with a friend to make one. Honey. Honey is the free and easy way to automatically search for promo codes so you can stop paying full price when you don't need to. Plus, it works on lots of sites where you already shop. Just click apply coupons at checkout. And it's not just for pizza, you can use it on other things like shoes, hair product, anything really. Add Honey to your computer in seconds at joinhoney.com slash megacast. We, we, Matt and I use it, and, and, it's, and it's fabulous. We, we save tons of money on our, on our skin creams. It's wonderful. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Gosh, diddly dang it. The last thing I need is a $33 overdraft fee when my online checking account balance is running low. That'll make it run even lower, and then it'll be in the negative, and then, you know... How stupid is that, that the banks charge you money for not having money? It's like they just want to keep poor people poor. <laughs> Overdraft fees have gotten way out of hand. In 2019, traditional banks took $11 billion in overdraft fees. But never fear, Chime is here. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card that has saved its members more than $10 billion in overdraft fees with SpotMe fee-free overdraft. Eligible members can overdraft up to $200 on debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with absolutely no fees. I like using Chime uh, because basically, who wants to pay overdraft fees? Why, why would you want to pay overdraft fees when you have the choice not to? With something like Chime, super easy to use, super nice app. I love it. And it saved me personally $10 billion in overdraft fees. You deserve to have financial peace of mind, super mega cast listener. Join the millions of Americans already loving Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and does not affect your credit score. Get started today at Chime.com slash super. That's Chime.com slash super. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements apply. Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. Limit starts at $20 and may be increased up to $200 by Chime. Damn, that was a good mandatory disclosure. 
But let me read one more. Chime member overdraft fee savings based on eligible members' use of SpotMe. Overdraft fee data based on bank rate checking account survey and CRL June 2020 overdraft fees report. My accent slowly got more country. Thanks to Chime. We're back. Uh, pfft, Ryan, dude, these are the worst <laughs> fucking send, glasses. Send me send me in uh, in Discord. I want to see it because the fans get to see it. Yeah. And I'll get to uh, see I it wanna, in person. I'll put it, I'll put it on screen the same time you get to see it so <laughs> okay. everybody gets the same. Hold on, let me just add a little bit of a drop shadow so they're okay. they stand out on my face a little bit more. Oh my god, dude. This looks like absolute horse shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's gotta be the moment you show it. Is that I, I haven't checked out yet, but I got the uh lighter brown ones instead of the, the black ones for you, buddy. I I knew that you would appreciate For them. me. My mustache really makes me look sickly. Or maybe it's because I have COVID. Um, uh, save as. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Create you know what Alt I'm gonna do? S or Control Alt. I don't know why I said create. Fucking idiot. I know. Uh, hold on. I, because we have that new uh, server for Super Mega stuff, I'm going to go ahead and put this Super Mega Cast episodes, new folder, 264. And then uh, guess what's going in there? <gasps> that. Dude, I've been organizing the fuck Discord out of this too? server. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm, yeah, I'm about to put it in Discord. Brian, have you downloaded Dropbox yet? No. <laughs> I, I haven't been at the office. That's my excuse. You do it at home, dude. Dude, I no. use Drop. I use uh, Dropbox now for all my files. It's fucking I only awesome. use this computer for porn and Sea of Thieves. Really? I mean, that two good functions. No, I, d I don't. I don't watch porn on my computer you don't watch porn on your computer no what do you watch on your fucking leap pad on my phone bro if i'm feeling oh, real frisky phone? maybe my ipad Ooh, okay dude porn on the ipad's a different experience my ipad nano like, <laughs> i wish they made that it's like a like the <laughs> it's like just a phone super tiny it's, ipad it's, all it is is a fucking wider phone just a fat phone um okay super mega cast Episodes 264 assets. Here it is. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching the YouTube version, if you would uh, go ahead and take a peek at your screen in three, two, one. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you like him, dude? <laughs> they look pretty good. Uh, I'm not I even going to front. I, I think they're going to be smaller than that. It said they're medium. Oh, uh, yeah, they'll probably be a little bit smaller. You Here, look let me like you're wearing like a mask, like a masquerade. Here. <laughs> okay, I made them really small, and I think they look even more ridiculous when they're like. <laughs> <laughs> let me see that one. Let okay, me... hold on, hold on. I'll let everyone see it at the same time again. Uh, this okay. is fucking. This is this is good. I think I like them small better. I think it's a better look for me. Smallglasses.png. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, by the way, from now on, when you do Super Mega Cast, save everything in that fo in the folder. You'll oh, see okay. how I organize like it. Like the audio I've been, and everything, like the finished yeah. Audio. I've been uh while I've been sick, I've just been doing a. I've been doing so much just like creative work and so much uh fucking uh organizing for Super Mega. All right, <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> Dude, I, I hope there's <laughs> like. Look on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. They're side by side. Do you guys like it when I have small glasses or big glasses? Dude, I'm, I think it's going to be somewhere in between those two sizes, actually. Okay, I'll just the I'll big make one, it. The big one looks like you're like Catwoman. The single one just looks like you bought a comical pair of glasses from Party City. It, it doesn't even look like I look like a fucking like snail. You know, and it's like my eyes like sticking up above my head. I look like a human snail. <laughs> well, also like from a distance, it's going to be like, does that dude just have like really dark circles around his eyes? Yeah, dude, it just looks like fucking really dark skin. Uh, OK, I, I did a version now, Ryan, that is just probably the regular size. OK, uh, and you're going to put this normal. one in between the two. It still doesn't look good, but it looks better. <laughs> It's like Goldilocks and the Jenna glasses. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Look on screen. This one's just right. <laughs> this one's too small. <laughs> this one's about, just right, dude. You ever think about how fucking Goldilocks literally just 
d- does a breaking in her. Like, she just breaks into someone's fucking house and eats their food and, like, breaks their chair and shit. Uh, it's, it's called squatting, and it's legal. The bears come back. They can't do shit. <laughs> Mine now. She, uh, yeah, sorry. Squatting is such, is such a concept to me. You know? why, why does it exist? How, how is it possible? Like, like who, what is the point of that? Like, why? I, I want to go secure a bunch of uh, properties around the country by squatting. I'm going to go to Hassan's nice-ass mansion and fucking squat there. And by squat, I mean I'll just squat in the front yard and take a picture. <laughs> oh, dude. Do you think Hassan will invite us to his mansion? Uh, no. I guarantee, dude, We're I not can- his friends. After the podcast, we will be. Dude, oh, I'm going to secure us an invite to his mansion. In fact, I need everybody just to just to basically... For I'll the bring rest you Capri of- Sun and just be sipping it while he's showing us, giving us a house tour. Yeah, and this is the candy room. It was inspired by <laughs> Notch's candy room. Uh, guys, you, you, Hassan needs to know that he needs to invite us for a, for a play date at his mansion. Yeah, I don't think he has the time. He's like working every day streaming uh, yeah. all day now On he's doing what? the telling lies now he's doing the new show with h3 h3 productions the new uh, h3 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 yeah the new political yeah, what, what commentator show i forgot it's uh, uh i saw it on instagram it's out on friday isn't it no it's, it's already out oh it's out yeah i, I want to watch it uh i want i want to see what their what their hot takes are it's uh Fuck, man. What their little political takes are. It's just a lot of Sea of Thieves uh, videos. Hold up. Because That's I, what they I do watched, on the podcast? No, I, I watched a bit of it. It's called Leftovers. You're still trying to figure out what glasses you want? No, no, no. I got it. I just thought that I had the same one twice. Dude, licorice dude, did, pizza looks fucking sick, though, right? Dude, that movie looks really good. I it love, looks like one of those movies that's going to make me feel kind of bad at the end. I love Paul Thomas we'll Anderson. See. And it's and it's fucking... Uh, the, the girl's was? from a band, isn't she? Well, I really like that Paul Thomas Anderson's using actors that like you've never seen before. I think that's really cool. I love that dude's haircut. I might have to do that. Uh, really? <laughs> I was thinking, dude, uh, wait, the quantity permitted for each order is six glasses. What? It's weird, because this is the same haircut that that other kid has in that Sopranos movie. This isn't the same guy, is it? Dude. Is it? I... Is that just his hair? I can't fucking get all these glasses, Ryan. Well, you have I to get the I can only order Jenna. six at once. Well, yes, I know. And unfortunately, that's going to take up one of the spots of my six glasses. So I'm going to have to get rid of a pair of glasses I actually wanted to wear. <sighs> that's not him. Show me, the, show me the money. Okay. Hey, must Dude, be the money. One of the Safty brothers is going to be in it. Oh, really? I saw, I, saw uh, I think, Benny Safty tweet about it. Dude, I just I fucking love Paul Thomas Anderson. One of my favorite movies of all time, Boogie Nights. Uh, so I think uh, it's gonna be good. The what trailer looks great. His name who plays this dude? He's new, I think. I haven't he's seen him. Brand new. And he's got a brand new role. He has the same fucking haircut as the Sopranos movie dude. What's that Sopranos movie called? God Sopranos Father. Road to Respect. No. I love the song story. in the trailer. It's kind of like uh, I love when pe- when they take like songs like that David Bowie song and edit it. Oh, you know what's funny, dude? Wait, wait. wait. Paul Thomas Anderson did uh, uh, Life Aquatic, right? Wait, no way. What? You're I didn't gay? know that. <laughs> that that that. The person playing the young James Gandolfini from Sopranos, which I haven't seen, I just know the character and shit. He's he's his son. It's his son. He's playing the young younger version of him. Oh, really? So yeah. that's just a crazy coincidence, or did you say that because you thought it really looked like him? Same well, it, haircut? It's, or it's, it's, it's not the same actor. He... I, I don't think it's the same actor in um. It's not the same actor from Licorice Pizza. But I'm just reading this now when I was looking oh. up who this guy was. I love that name. Um. Michael Gandolfini. Fighting in the dance hall. I love that song, dude. Is there life on Mars? He was in Ocean's Eight as the bus boy. Yeah, but didn't uh, didn't what uh, he did Life Aquatic, didn't he? Paul Thomas Anderson. No, no. you're thinking of uh, Wes Anderson. 
Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, I'm thinking of Wes Anderson. Life Aquatic's uh, amazing, though. That's my favorite of his movies. The song in the Licorice Pizza trailer, Life on Mars by David Bowie, is in Life Aquatic, but it's like a Brazilian bossa nova cover. What would you say is by, your favorite Wes Anderson film? Um, Probably the one where your fat fucking mom sucks my dick. Was that not funny? Was that? There I go again, messing up jokes. I'm sorry, dude. No, it's fine. Why doesn't Ryan actually, why does he actually get upset when Matt jokes about his mom? Dude, like, like it's just a fucking joke, but he takes it like such a fucking baby. Okay, I ordered my glasses. They're ordered, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait for my Jenna glasses to arrive. Yes. Yes, queen. These are, slay. These You're going to slay with are, these. These glasses are the the epitome of of slain, are they not? <laughs> they are. I think like so. like th- these glasses are yes queen per- dude. They have the pride collection on I buy direct, and the glasses are rainbow. They're Randy rainbow. Ugly. Yeah, dude, check out these Randy rainbow glasses, bro. I'm sending it in Discord. I want to be speak. popular. I want to be popular. Yeah. Is that a, did he do a Joe Biden song about with with that one? No, I was just songs, I was just most of his songs are parodies. Unless that you, is a song. Why would you put words in Randy Rainbow's mouth? I want to be president. I want to be president. Not that Cheeto man with his tiny hands. Whoa, no. that's that's it right there, dude. Dude, <laughs> are, are I should you be a ghost ro- rider for <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? As I was saying Ghost Rider, I was adding another pair of glasses to my cart that I had saved for later, and they're called Ghost Rider. <laughs> what a weird coincidence life, today. Life is the full stars of coincidences. Are Crazy. There's, no, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Not are you, but are you a Ghost Rider for Randy Rambo? <laughs> was that good? Did you like that? Are you, yes. Can you sing it again? <clears throat> no. That, that, that's the one and done, baby. I okay, can't. I can't. About, I can't use all my creative juices. You know, I got. I got to save some for. Uh, yeah, for when we get back together. Mm-hmm. Because I, hopefully, I'd like to see you before the end of the week. You know, it's Tuesday. My thing is, I, I want before I see either you or Jackson. You both gotta for for me get two. Oh yeah, get, no, get, I'm testing negative. Just get negative twice. Even though the tests the tests are good, I don't know. I just feel like it would. It's like a good kind of like safety okay. measure. I can do that. <laughs> you want to pay for my rushed? I just uh, I'll I pay don't for wanna... it. I'll seriously pay for it. No, 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 no. I'll just get the one that just takes like a day because uh, and I'm that one's gonna... more accurate too. It's two hundred fifty fucking dollars. So I I don't want to have to spend five hundred dollars on COVID tests. So I'll get tomorrow. I'm gonna get tested just and I'll get a just uh, regular PCR in which I think I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's more accurate. It's it's accurate. Should I get should I get the rush one tomorrow? You don't have I mean if you want you can. That's up to you. I mean you can no, also talk uh, you to your know, insurance I, about it as well in terms of pay, paying. But I don't know if they'll cover it. I'm not going to lie. I I I this is a privileged thing to say, but I have been enjoying my quarantine quite a bit. I've just been uh just doing a lot of creative shit and just it's just chilling so and- fucking tone deaf. <laughs> like he's actually he's enjoying fine. himself. He's 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 telling me how how happy he is. Read the room. You should be miserable. Jesus. I saw I did see people getting upset about our our update video. Why? Uh th- this is not something to joke about, Matt. Oh, those are probably just like the uh No, no, no. There were people that were actually like uh I did see some people that were like, you know, kind of eh. Well, then <laughs> Uh, they'll eventually fizzle out or they'll get over it. They can I don't know. suck it. You know it's what I'm like, saying? It's just whatever. Whatever y'all want to do, just continue watching. I mean, they, uh, again, I mean, people might just watch and like they just want to complain a little bit too. I mean, it doesn't mean Everyone, hey, everyone loves us. complaining. Complaining feels good, right? Everybody uh, loves to complain. I love complaining. It's a, you, you complain with your bros or your I sisters. I can't complain at all, man. You know? <laughs> Ryan and his sisters are back for another. <laughs> I'm imagining Kids a movie, just Ryan. Just wanna have fun. I'm imagining like a rom, like a, not a rom com, like a comedy movie where it's you and like a group of like five pal joyous black women, and you guys are like t- doing a road trip across the country. But and I it's call Ryan them my and gal the sisters. <laughs> are they boyfriend free girls? Yeah, they are. Speaking, Speaking of, of boyfriend free girls, exactly. Woo, we got we got a Chris Chan update. Uh, finally, uh, Chris Chan wrote a letter from prison. 
to Null, who is the uh, owner of Kiwi Farms. Chris Chan and is sitting pretty with with uh, no crayons, unfortunately, but at least a pen and some paper. I, you would think they would give them crayons in prison. Or cr- crayons are safer. You can't stab yourself in the neck with a crayon. There's gonna no, be you at least with a pen. Yeah. So maybe it is. But, maybe it is crayon, <laughs> but it looked like pen because n- the images are it, online. No, it was it was really fine, so it couldn't have been pen. But it might have been the paper was like three feet long, and so like when you zoom out, it looks like pen. You know. But Chris, uh, pencil? Chris has 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 dropped to a to a, a very deeper point of schizophrenia, uh, or what I think is schizophrenia, because Chris Chan believes that armchair, they're Jesus Christ, armchair doctor, the, psychiatrist, uh, Doctor Watson in the house. I mean, uh, people me, in the I'm comments, a, please call me Doctor Psychiatrist Watson. <laughs> uh, the rapist, uh, wa- I mean therapist, <laughs> uh, Matthew Watson. Uh, please, like maybe I, maybe I'm wrong. So feel free to correct me in the comments on this. But like, Chris Chan, I think does have schizophrenia because it's like the the belief that they're Jesus Christ in the second coming. Like that's pretty common with schizophrenia. I'm sure. There's, uh, there's that, I actually there. But it's it's just like also it's like just, does it does it at this point who who really knows? There's probably so many things that developed mm-hmm. or got worse from the lack of of decent childhood upbringing Um, yeah and also just prison max max and i were talking that we we feel like this jesus christ saga is probably because there's nothing in jail for chris to like uh like to be stimulated by but there's a bible so chris probably read the bible or like read parts and then like created lore out of that Mm, yes sonic chew in the bible but chris chan is the Literally the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Yeah. That is what that's what Chris said. So uh Chris also said, anytime anyone has ever prayed, it has been to me. So just know that So uh, wait, so Ariana Grande was right. God is a woman. <laughs> Does that mean Sonichu is part like the Holy Spirit or something? Yeah. Sonichu is the Holy Spirit. So wait, okay, there's the Holy Ghost, the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. So, the father... Which still confuses me to this day, that they're all the same thing. Well, okay, so... The, the father I, is Bob. I, 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 do you want me to explain the, the, how I think of the Holy Trinity, right? In real life or in uh, Christian? In real life. Okay, go for it. So, God is God, right? He's the being, the ultimate being. God then sends himself... It's not like truly himself, but it's like himself in human form. It's like this, it's it's hard to like pinpoint down. But so that's Jesus, the hu- the human embodiment of but he's still, God and what God wants. And then you but have God the, is extra dimensional, so he can exist multiple multiple at once. Yes, and well, and and the Holy Spirit is mainly like supposed to be the. The the his his spirit living on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You have to put that in. I just sent Ryan this picture on Discord. <laughs> I don't know why it made me laugh so hard. The Holy Spirit has been described as that like feeling you get. You know when you get butter. You know when we used to get butterflies in church, holding our hands up and shit. When I get little tingles in my penis. Yeah, God yeah. is touching me. <laughs> so. It's it's he exists. So the Holy Spirit exists through all of us because Jesus died for our sins and in us is we're 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 God's creation. So in a way we we're not God, but we we're his children, so to speak. But we're God. Yeah. So I think the Holy Spirit is just kind of that that uniform idea and feeling and passion around around God and Jesus. All right, let's like I gotta some shit like that. Okay. Why are you sending me fan art? <laughs> what, well, one is a fan art. The other one was. One, one is just a, a real photograph. The Holy Spirit is referred to as the Lord and giver of life in the Nicene Creed. He is the creator spirit. Like, I don't... People also ask, how can I understand the Holy Spirit? To receive the Holy Spirit is when you trust God with your heart and believe that God sent his son to die in your place as a sacrifice for your sins. You know, if Jesus died for my sins and sacrificed that, then I can sin. I can do whatever I want, and it's okay. Right? 
I think so. I mean, like, like I okay. Do you want to do you want to continue thinking? Because you, I think you said you were having some sort of idea about Chris Chan. I was just saying. Uh, I was just saying, like Chris Chan is Jesus. Uh, like, like compare Chris Chan now to the uh, the Trinity. Like, who who is who? You know, like who is Sonichu? Is Sonichu uh, okay? Chris is obviously Jesus Christ. But that leaves God in the holy. <laughs> oh, it's a. Uh, that's a weird. That's a thin penis. Ryan sent me a nice picture of a beautiful naked man. Oh, you'll love this uh, one, dude. That's a weird penis. It's it's thin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, what's his tattoo? Dude, I love. He has the Chinese tattoos down his back. Dude, that guy is. It's, it looks like he's just sniffing his ass, not even eating. He's like. <sighs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a guy that would just work it like, like a TGI Fridays. Oh, here's what is, another. What, what is this you sent me? <laughs> Download dot dot J F I F. She downloaded. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I downloaded it. That's not a file type, dude. Dot J F I F. The fuck is this, dude? Oh my god. Why? Dude, I love it. his little smile. <laughs> it's a picture of a man in handcuffs uh, with his penis out, and he's standing up in a bedroom looking at the camera, and he's a little tiny smile. That's definitely not America. See the banana tree outside, and then see, like, that room, like, the tile, and then, like, the decoration. Like, I don't, like, can't, don't you just know, like, you see it, it's like, oh, yeah, that's not America. That's just, like, no American would ever decorate a room so drab. Um... <sighs> Fuck, I just realized something. What? It's time for ad breaks. True, let's go to ad breaks. If you've been opting out of skincare, I get it. I, 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 go, to the, I go to the grocery store, I look at all the products, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what to pick, and I honestly am, am too afraid to even begin to understand what's good for my skin or even trust reviews of skincare products. The truth is most of us actually care about our skin, we just don't know where to start. If you're looking for something simple that works without being complicated, then you have to get Curology. Curology makes skincare effortless. They create a custom skincare formula for your skin goals. Plus, they've got a cleanser and moisturizer that are easy on your skin and super easy to use. Everything ships right to your door and your first 30 days are free. You just cover five bucks for shipping and handling. Sign up for Curology in minutes by sharing your skin type and skin goals and a licensed dermatology provider can create a custom formula made for you specifically you. They've also got some other amazing, awesome products like an acne body wash, emergency spot patches, so you can do it up or keep it simple. I was looking at my oily skin, my my smelly, oily skin, and, and I sent in, and I, yeah, I, I sent in all of these facts to Curology, and they, 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 they sent me this, this cream that I put on my face, and it, and it, and it makes me feel so nice. I don't feel all greasy all the time. I feel like my skin is healthy, you know? soft like a baby's bottom if you're ready for healthier skin and a routine that makes sense do what i do give curology a go go to curology.com super for a free 30-day trial just pay for shipping and handling that's c-u-r-o-l-o-g-y dot com slash super to unlock your free 30-day trial see curology.com for all the details if you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt. Upstart is here to help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan, all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high-interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. That's so neat. They take they take your payments and they just put it into, into one monthly payment it's it, it's so easy that's why i like upstart because i can you know i don't ever miss things because it's it's they're they're here and there but i can put it all together and uh i use upstart to, to consolidate it all they know you're more than just your credit score and they're expanding access to affordable credit unlike other lenders upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan with a five minute online rate check you could see your rate up front for loans between 1,000 to 50,000 big ones you can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Cha-ching! Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com supermega. That's upstart.com supermega. 
Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information providing your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash supermega. Those aren't file types. What are those? <laughs> I don't know. Dot JFIF? Are you sending me viruses? <laughs> like, like, I don't, I don't get it, dude. I'll delete the viruses. I'll get you next time, though. Thank you, man. What are those, though? What were you sending me? What's a dot just, JFIF? I don't, let me look it up because I'm just saving shit from Google Images. Because a dot JFIF, okay, JFIF file extension. What is a JFIF? It's a bitmap I open? graphic that uses JPEG compression. It is I have never heard of that file of the type. the common JPEG file format. Okay, these pictures are fantastic. And one of my favorite things to do, and I fucking wish we could share this like publicly like and show the pictures, but if but you go porn. on Twitter and find like nudist accounts of like <laughs> of like sixty year old men, like all you got to do, okay, here's how here's how you find good accounts. Search like like uh, I'm on Twitter right now. I'm gonna search hot tits, okay, and then I'm gonna go to photos. Uh, okay, or that didn't come up. Okay, yeah. So uh, there we go. You go to photos, click like a hot girl, and then go in the responses, and you'll find uh, responses that are like. Now she is smoking hot. Fire emoji. Spicy emoji. Love the short skirt. Sexy legs and big tits. Got my <laughs> cock hard. So now I click on this guy's account. Dude, what the fuck is this guy's? This guy's banner is just a picture of sperm cells. <laughs> Only adults 18 plus can view my account. UK based guy. Porno sexual. Edger. Wanker. I love girls. 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 Here's this guy's uh, profile. So this is my favorite thing. You go on Twitter and you just start going down the rabbit hole of these profiles. He posts a lot of porn. Uh, but then you just click on one of these and you look at like his, like what, what he uh, has been responding with and what other people like say. Here's someone that says, wow, so delicious to a picture of a pussy. Oh, it's all in Portuguese. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Well, I got to go back. Just keep going. You find some good ass shit. What are you looking for, Ryan? Because your silence means you're looking for something right now. Oh, so, so I, oh, here's a pussy. Some, someone's telling me that I could potentially play Halo Infinite. Right now? Not right now, but like this, uh, this coming soon. It starts October 3rd. No, actually, it's this weekend it starts. Ooh, Asian Sex Diary. Oh, oh, he. This guy said something on Asian Sex Diary. His he responded. The guy that I sent you with the sperm cells, he said, in the last four weeks, I've been lucky enough to have fucked both a Thai and Filipina girl. Both lovely, sexy young girls that loved BWC. What's wrong with white women? Big white cock. The Filipina Pinay girl gave me the best blowjob I've ever had and let me slide my big dick in her tight little ass. Looking forward to sex holidays. Ew. This guy, so this guy's a sex tourist. So my my man loves the the human trafficking industry. Dude, I'm gonna put that on my Facebook as my job. Sex tourist. <laughs> sex tourists are fucking creepy, dude. It's like the dudes they go to Thailand just to like fuck uh like Thai girls off the street, which is always fucking it, it's sex trafficking usually. It's like these these are people that are caught up in human trafficking. So it's like these rich businessmen that are. Not even divorced. Uh, it, dude, every, like, when I was at the Ladyboy Bar in Thailand, it was only, like, middle-aged white men that were definitely married or just recently divorced, like, sitting there with a beer, like, Hey, I brought my cock and balls on the tub, eh? Big fuck it, sorry, I was, I was, I want to play Halo Infinite, and, I, and I'm Aye. too lazy, and I didn't sign up, and I, oh. and, I, and I didn't get it right, but this person said, I brought my cock and balls, eh? <clears throat> he, he, oh. He's telling me oh. that it's possible. He's actually from our Discord. Eh, I bet, I bet. He's a uh, moderator on all Discord. I bet me pork and beans in the top. Uh, oh, who is it? Jesus. Axie? Unsubbing. Oh, I like unsubbing. Shout out to the Discord moderators real quick. Uh, cause the super mega Discord, uh, for Patreon is fucking badass. Uh, we get in there all the time and talk. Yeah, uh, I, I did oh, a lot of, shit. I do a lot of Sea of Thieves talking in there. I saw, uh, we actually have a special guest this week. Um, Ryan, do you know who Penis Mike is? I don't know. Who, who is that? Do you have you seen people mention him? I, no, I've seen him. I have seen okay. him. So so Penis Mike, so I did a press conference in the Discord uh, the other night. 
For those that don't know what that is, it's where I can speak uh, and people listen. Jesus. That's crazy. I speak and people listen and they can't talk, but they can like join the room and listen to what I'm saying. And there were like 500 people in there. And I was like, I'm going to pick some people to chat with. So I went down and randomly selected people and I let them jump in and like, like it was like callers calling in. One of the people I randomly picked was this guy named Penis Mike. Uh, and he was fucking, uh, he, he was pretty cool. But then uh, I jokingly kicked him from like chatting, but I didn't realize that I actually banned him from the whole server. <laughs> And I couldn't figure out how to unban him. And he was on Twitter like, dude, I'm, I banned. I can't get back in. And I did it to another guy, too. Uh, so now that's Epic and Penis Mike were both the users I accidentally banned. And the admins Doesn't had to like, figure some shit Doesn't Penis Mike have a role out. that's just Penis Mike? Does he? Like his role is Penis Mike. Are there roles on the side now? I'm looking. Oh, Astro Assist is in here. Dude, okay, Penis Mike. But I told Penis... Pe everyone was saying Penis Mike for the podcast. So, uh... <laughs> Without further ado, do we, do we I have might, Penis Mike here? I, I, I might. He, he was bragging about, and pe people know, and they're saying, at Penis Mike, how did the podcast go at 5.02 p.m.? They never called. Ooh. What the fuck? Ooh. I know. I wore my super mega hat for nothing. It sounds like you made a promise to someone, and now you're just he remembering that you have to. You he have says to, he still oh. wants to give us a chance. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call up Penis Mike. Uh, <laughs> do you know who Penis Mike actually is? No, he's just some random dude that I added to my press conference, then accidentally banned from the server for like a day. Penis. Mike. And everyone was like, justice for Penis Mike. And now <laughs> Penis Mike is a fucking legend on the Discord server, dude. Dude, let's fucking get Dude, that. I'm scrolling through general and shit, and all I see is just people talking about Penis Mike. Dude, let's get okay. Penis Mike on. What's taking so I'm trying so to find long? him. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to find him. Was he talking? In, where was I talking? It was the music section. There he is. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and call Penis Mike. I'm going to add Penis Mike as a friend as well. Yeah, his roles is is Megheads and Penis Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he has a role in the server and it's just Penis Mike. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love Penis Mike. Who, the, who is Penis Mike? Dude, he's a legend, man. <laughs> I, I like... I've I've okay. seen him, but like now that we're like discussing it more, I just like now I'm getting more and more curious, especially since we're about to talk to to Penis okay. Mike. I, I'm going in the general chat real quick. It's saying at Penis Mike, accept my request because I can't call Penis Mike until I fucking uh, am friends with him. Come on, Penis Mike. Uh, okay. Oh, he said done. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Penis Mike. Penis Mike's audio failed to record, so his voice will be substituted with a computer narration. What's up, hey, it's Penis, Penis Mike? Mike, ladies and gentlemen? Penis Mike tells the Super Mega Brothers that it is an honor to be on the Super Mega cast. Well, definitely you, for uh, us. Thank you for coming on. I mean, this is a big honor for us. This is a really big deal for us to, to have the Penis Mike. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Penis Mike. Penis Mike goes on to tell Matt and Ryan that he is a 19-year-old college student at DeVry University. He studies male anatomy and loves to party. He lives with his mom's boyfriend and enjoys making YouTube videos for his 11 subscribers and two friends. Like most of the super mega fanbase, he suffers from several mental disorders and frequently soils his sheets during the night. Congratulations! Hey, how long were you banned for, Penis Mike, when I, when I invited you into my, my speech and then accidentally kicked you? Penis Mike recounts the infamous incident on the Super Mega Discord server in which Matt accidentally banned him and did not know how to add him back until the next day. The three share a hearty chuckle over the comical nonsense of the situation, and how funny it is that his name is Penis Mike. Yeah, dude, I, I, I'm really sorry about that. I, I was trying to kick you from, from the call just like regularly uh, and, and make a goof out of it, but for some reason... Penis Mike then asks if he can do some shoutouts. All right, Penis Mike got the shoutouts. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Penis Mike. Penis Mike shouts out various people for an uncomfortably long period of time. It was honestly rude, and a massive overstep of his boundaries with the position he had been lucky enough to receive. Matt and Ryan were very annoyed, but hit it well. Also, nobody that Penis Mike shouted out sounded cool. How are race relations at your campus? For the sake and reputation of Penis Mike, it's fortunate that this part of the call was not recorded, because Penis Mike went on to say some truly disgusting things. He ends his rant by bringing up Matthew's father, Dale. Actually, you know what, dude? Let's add Dale in here. Let me let me call Dale and just <laughs> let him say hi to Penis Mike. Dude, I want to know. Just tell your dad right off the bat. Hey, can you say hey to Penis Mike? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do this. 
<laughs> he won't be able to hear you, penis Mike. Oh, he won't. Okay. But you'll be able to hear him. Yeah. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, Dad, what's up? Not much. You sound good. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty awesome because I'm talking to Penis Mike right now. Oh, well, that's fine. Good for you. Do you want to say hey to Penis Mike? Are, are we on the air? No, I'm just talking to Penis Mike. Call me that later. Why? I have I have Penis Mike now, not later. I don't know what, what you're talking Will about. Will you say hey to him? Who's Mike? Penis Mike. Yeah, call me back Can you just say hey, Penis Mike, real quick? No, I won't. Dad, just say hi to Penis Mike. No, I'm not. Dad, seriously, I'm not. I'm not kidding. This is serious. God, <laughs> fuck, fuck you, dude. God damn, fuck my dad, dude. Oh, he's gonna be. He's not gonna like that one, Matthew. Yeah, he did. He didn't sound too happy. <laughs> he's like, no, it, I'm not gonna say hey to Penis Mike. No, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, hey, pe Penis Mike. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry penis about Mike. Dale Penis Mike. Anne would say hello to you, though. I'm sure Anne would say hello to you. Here, call mom. Watch this. You know what? My mom's probably drunk as fuck right now because she's with my my cousin and who likes drinking a lot, and they're having dinner. They're on tonight. their first date. <laughs> Here, let's see. It's 9:30 over there. That's perfect drinking hours. <laughs> That's perfect. Ooh. Hey, mom. Hey. Hey. Hey, I can't talk. I'll have to call you back in a bit, but I can just talk real quick. Uh, would you mind real quick saying hey to my friend Penis Mike? Uh, wait, what? Will you say hey to my friend Penis Mike? I know it's kind of a weird name, but he's a legend in our Discord server, and he just wants you to say hey. Yeah, I think Jamie will say hey. Hey, Penis Mike. <laughs> hey, all right. That's my cousin. My cousin uh, Jamie said, said hey, Penis Mike. <laughs> Mom, can I get one too? Hey, Penis Mike. There we go. There it Thank is. you, Mom. Thank you. Penis Mike is thrilled. Yeah, we called no, Dad. No, he was very angry and wouldn't say hello, and it hurt Penis Mike's feelings. I thank you. I got okay. I'll call you back after this podcast. But bye, Mom. Bye, Jamie. Hey, Penis Mike. Look at that. I guess we know who the better parent is. Well, we've always known who the better parent was. Penis Mike thanks Matthew and Ryan for the much needed exposure and clout they've granted him by allowing him to be on their podcast, which is among the top 50 comedy podcasts on the charts, in case you didn't know. Penis Mike, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we'll, we'll call you back on another episode soon and uh, we'll, get, we'll get more inputs from Some Penis updates. Mike. Well, and, and until then, Penis Mike, take care, all right? Penis Mike expresses his love for the Super Mega Brothers and says his farewells. Thank you. I, I love you too, Penis Mike. stuff goes well. All right, uh, we're back. We're back uh, from the Penis Mike call. We had a nice call. call with Penis Mike. I think it went um, well. It went great, man. I love Penis Mike. Your dad now, was a bit of a... I recorded my, my desktop you know. audio uh, via QuickTime on my Mac, um, and I'm not sure if it actually recorded his voice. It should have. But if it didn't, you heard a nice recap of what happened and some of the highlights. Uh, Penis Mike's a great guy. We'll have to get him on again soon. Um, on a regular episode, we'll be able to hear him because we're not doing this whole Discord thing. Yeah. But, uh, hey, man, Penis Mike's great. Hey, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's about all the time we got for today's episode of the Super Mega Podcast. Thank you to Penis Back Mike for joining us. Thank yeah, you to Ann Watson. Uh, Dale, you can do better. Um, yeah, yeah, do better, Dale. Yeah. For real. Um, Actually, if I don't call him now, I guarantee we will probably go four or five weeks without talking. After yeah, that. you should probably go call him. I don't I don't care. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, go check out our Patreon where you can join the Discord and you can actually meet Penis Mike and talk to him uh, and see a bunch of bonus stuff. we got a ton of videos on there. You get this podcast ad free before it hits streaming services and you get episodes of the Super Minicast, which is uh, an exclusive mini podcast where we talk about topics and stuff that you guys suggest uh, uncensored. Um, so, yeah, there's also penises on the There's pictures of penises. There stuff. are pictures so, of peni penises pissing as well. Mm hmm. Wait, so, really? Well, the Did guy you put it. No, no, no. Remember the Q&A picture with the guy in the purple pants with his penis and he's pissing. Yeah. And he's pissed. He's on the couch and he's pissing on himself. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's five bucks a month, and if you want to support the boys, uh, we have new Patreon goals, and if we hit uh, 9,000 patrons, 
what was the what was the goal real quick? Let me check this out. Um, I had a couple. I set some new goals. Um, give me just one second. Let me sign in. Uh, cause I I want everyone to help us reach these goals. Um. If we hit 9,001 patrons, the Super Mega Boys get to have a pizza party with one medium, one topping pizza, one liter of Sprite, and a viewing of Mulan, uh, and it's over 9,000. Wait, if the new Mulan 10, or the old Mulan? Uh, old Mulan. Okay, good. If we actually we have hit, to do this. Do you realize how close we are to 10,000 patrons? If we which, do that, which, we'll, we'll record the video and upload it to Patreon. Yeah, Patreon absolutely. Exclusive. Absolutely. And... 10,000 patrons would be an absolute dream. Uh, if we can hit 10,000 patrons, uh, Matt's parents, my, my parents have to legally get remarried. So uh, I really want that for That's the sake be of my exciting. family. I really, my dad has been looking forward to it. My mom's looking forward to it. The family's going to get back to together. It. It's going to be great. The gang's all, the gang's going to be back together again. So thank you guys for listening and uh, check out the Patreon, check out the Discord. We love you guys. Uh, lots of fun stuff on the way. And thanks for dealing with this little hiatus while we, uh, while I'm on, co uh, while I'm, while I have COVID. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next episode. Yeah. Venus and balls. Bye.